Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm on my own. I can't see if anyone is here. So if you're here, we're waiting for Camille to come back. See where we can get her back on here. I'm just working on a project. Oh, hold on, let's see. So Camille should be logging back in soon as you can if you're here trying to get on we're having technical difficulties let's see here oh she's back Hi, they didn't, I don't see anyone. Yeah, I'm waiting for them. Um, let me just send her this link again. Okay. I have almost my two cam body. Okay, thank goodness you're there, Michelle. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, hi, everybody. <laughs> Darker colors. Maybe this one. Okay. 
Hi, there they are. There you guys are. It took a minute to do that. Hi. Hi. Hey kids, can you hear me over there? Can you hear me? Yeah. Good. The sound stopped. Can you hear me over there? Good. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Good. The sound stopped. Can you hear me over there?
think it is because yeah. yeah. I have my phone and my cell phone hooked up to my screen. It makes that sound too. Yeah. 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 Okay, I can hear some of you guys. Okay, so I'm going to go over a little bit of what you guys are working on or that you could be working on.
Okay. That's better. There. That's yes. much better. Thank you. Better. <laughs> yeah, that's so much better. <laughs> okay, and then I can see you guys. Oh my God. What about the You got to do your stuff, bro. Wait, I'm like, you look like you should walk. And then you place it. This is good. I should have kept the chapter. Y'all are muted. Like this. One more time. I got to do it. I don't know. So what are you doing? Again, so you guys can maybe see a little bit. So this was the fact collage part and now we're moving so now working miss tiana do you have um is, does someone have a, a little piece of theirs um done to see kind of what they're doing like where they're starting I know someone. These are new students, so the other students aren't in here. The new students? Mm -hmm. Hold on, this is Miss Pamela. Hey. Hello. 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 All right. Okay. So Michelle, you so, have um, your burlap. And what did you decide to put on there? Did you put the toucan or did you? I was working on the toucan. So I, um, I wanted to do, I started with the body. I'm doing the feathers for the body. And then I put like a solid piece here so I can work with it. I'm going to put uh -huh. colorful embroidery thread for the um, beak and the feet. Right. And then I'm going to put the black thread for the, um, the, the tail feathers that they have. Very so I made good. I drew, I drew a toucan. Okay. And okay. So I'm kind of looking at it. I also have my other stuff too. If you want to look at it, okay, good. All right, so you guys get an idea of the starting, right? So when you get your when you get your image onto your bird, you can paint it, or you can put it on. You have two choices: you can paint it on, or you can collage it. And if you collage it, you'll, end up, you'll trace it, and then you'll put the fabric in the like this. And once you get started, once you get your animal on the burlap, Thank you. 
give me a pause for a few. Okay. Did y'all do this in the other class? It's a 
I have one before you leave. I have one. There you go. That's, that's a good thing. Yeah, I'm gonna let them know. Right. So I, I see you guys. So Miss Tiana's out of the room, and I see you guys have your burlap. Has anybody put anything on their burlap? No, it's the shot one, so she's freezing. I'm putting something on a burlap. <laughs> How did I get started? Um, I on this project, I drew. Yeah, I think she must be on a cell phone or something. I think so. so I'm, I'm on my computer. Yeah, I, can, I can hear you. I'm gonna text it to you. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's what I said. She's not in here. <laughs> that's what I. That's what I thought. There she is. All right. Did you want me to talk about how I started my project on this one or my other, my turtle? Miss Camille, do you want me to talk about this project? Can you can you show me that one more time? Did you see? Did I see it's, it's delayed. Did you did you see her? I didn't see. It. I was looking down. Did you show? What are you guys working on over there? Have you gotten anything on the burlap yet? 
Oh, love that. Oh, hey, that looks like finger bears. <laughs> That's so cool. It looks like a wee bear bears. One more time. I didn't see it. I couldn't see it. I'm not. <laughs> he brought it over for us. Come up there one she more goes. time for me. Isn't that cute? Oh, yeah. That's really good. All right. That's a bear. I like that. Good job. Okay, so everybody knows what they're doing. I can I can stop talking. Look at these chocolates. And my thing is flying. I'm wearing bags.
We're getting close. We got about 10. Ten or fifteen more minutes. What was she got? Yeah, ten. You better put some. You still have some of the Oil in the box. But for beading, um, some people have a beading board, but I love the girl app. Beating. What other animals are in there? I saw the bear. do it that way when you start feeding. It adds some weight to the corner. We probably have. Ms. Tiana, how many more how many more students do we have left before they go? I'm your only student. Everyone's gone. <laughs> You're the only student? <laughs> How many? <laughs> yeah. they leave. So is it possible? Did anyone take theirs with them? Or is everyone leaving their projects there and working on them when they come back? Some of them are the um, projects are in different classes because these are different students and they didn't do the animals. So I have them redoing everything the correct way. Okay, well that that works because um, the way we're the reason yeah the reason we have the live stream is because everyone can start at different points and we can kind of go back and use the live. Hope. Good job. Yeah. It. Someone did a bear. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get a bear. And I know last week when you um, when you weren't here, we had a, um, someone working on a horse. Mm -hmm. What is the next live stream? Yeah, my phone. So it's going to be April. Um, I want to start Wednesday. I think I can look at it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, it's the 12th or the 17th? Oh, wait. Is it the 14th? April 14th. Okay. I should have everyone caught up by then with their alarm. when they haven't stitched before. Stitching the trick. How many boys and girls were there today? Six. That sound was rough at the beginning. <laughs> it was brutal. I think because I had the YouTube open in another tab. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonder where Camille went to. Oh, wait, she's texting. She's on again. She says.
okay, now it has these sideways. Your sideways. I know. <laughs> what is going on? We'll just look at you like this. <laughs> I'm like, this is this is really crazy. <laughs> there we go. It's technology, it happens. Right. Okay. I made that this part. Maybe, maybe it, what's that? Oh, I like it. You do? You know, it, it kind of looks fake. Maybe that's like peeking out the camera or something. Um, I'm starting know, to put the, I mean, Gotta get all the colors on it so it looks pretty. So are you gonna, like, did you decide if you were gonna paint the colors on there or are you gonna use embroidery floss? I'm gonna use the floss. I wanna see how it does. I thought about painting it and that's why I put that fabric on there, which I might still mm -hmm. do, I don't know. I'm not seeing how it looks right now. I don't know. Is there anything with you like? Do you have any questions um, about, about what they're doing, or is there anything that I can? provide to you that might make it go a little bit easier are they just are they able to catch on and it's easy for them um they'll be able to catch on we're going to catch them up because it's a lot of different supplies and different classrooms have to get everyone's project and then right so make sure you know so you don't have to keep repeating yourself just tell them to go to the seed to fiber page and all of the current live streams are going to be on there and they can catch themselves up and kind of see what everyone is doing because that's the point of the live stream that if you missed it um you can still work on the project just kind of go back and then they can sit in when we're doing the studio and um catch up even if they're starting from the beginning So I um, I sent you a text, and if you could, like I said, just take a couple, um, take a few pictures of some of the stuff that they've done, so I can kind of see um, where each you know kid is, and then if I need to add something in or get you some more materials, I can do that. And for everyone who is just starting to. Um, join us for the second part of the studio we have a featured art room which is the frank callens boys and girls club in savannah that leads us off and they've been working on these activities with us since um since december so we've gone through different steps from assemblage to applique to fabric painting um, and right now we're moving into embroidery so uh, our object that we're focusing on um, are animals and what we're doing is our final project is going to be an abame um, applique which is something kind of like a fictitious animal that tells a story so that's why some of the animals you'll find will look like combined animals. Um, some of the animals look exactly like, um, you know, they, they look and they might just look a little different. Like a toucan is a very different looking bird. And that's what Michelle is working on. Um, and then we've got some of the stuff that the kids are doing, they're collaging. Um, and so the idea is that each step to uh, making an applique, they will apply to each um, series of activities that we do that leads into a final collective project, um, which is the applique. And we'll finish that up in May. 
So if anybody has any questions, we leave that for the second hour, which we're about to um, get into. Uh, Michelle and I will just be talking about what we're um, doing, answering questions, troubleshooting some of the things that we've um, experience putting um, our projects together and then talking a little bit about um, the studio part which uh, I will um, give more information about in a little bit uh, because we have the Fiber Guild of Savannah who has been um, helping us pre-record some of the videos so um, if anyone has any more questions at that point, then I would say, hey, um, take a look at the second hour of our live stream last month. And um, if you are over the age of 18 and you're kind of like, oh, is this project for younger or older people? Um, it's a little bit for everybody. So um, I believe, Miss, Miss Tiana, are you, are you logging off? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so um, Michelle, I've put up the second ba banner, and this is what I was kind of talking about earlier, is that um, the studio partner for this series of our activities is the Savannah Fiber Guild. And we have a series of pre-recorded videos on just the introduction of the fabric painting part for the applique and for the basic needle stitch. And basic embroidery stitch. So I'm just going to... use my piece because I've been playing around with it. And Michelle, you are current. So where I am, is just the basic outline mm -hmm. of the embroidery and then adding in the other details some of the beads that we've worked with previously like the peace sign and the cowrie shell all of those will culminate into our um our Objects of art show. We have a children time a year, and uh, they focus on an object. Uh, this year, we we did a uh, peace sign. We will be meeting again. And on April 13th. 14th. 14th. Well, actually, that entire week um, in a studio with Hart and we will be talking about our Earth Day project, collaborating with.
a couple of people. Uh, if you're in Savannah and you do an, a competition. I can hear you. There's a competition. What'd you say? Oh, can you, you hear went me? away. I can hear you, but <laughs> my can you screen went me? away. I can hear you. Let's, let's see. I'm going to try switching it. Okay. Is that one better? I can't see. Hold on. I apologize for all the glitches. Yeah, I apologize for all the glitches. I am going to contact StreamYard because we haven't had any issues before with our live stream. It's always gone like that's one of the least of our problems is the sound and so forth and so on. Can you hear me I now, hear Michelle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just yeah, might. I can't even hear him. I can hear you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Okay, so um, I was I was leading us into our project for April because we're doing Earth Day and talking a little bit about endangered species. And I know we're working on on some other animals, but mm -hmm. so that hopefully that might save it from extinction. <laughs> right. If you camouflage your rhino. <laughs> and then and um, one thing that we were working on the last live stream was we were doing fabric collages. And so I always like to give everyone the opportunity to kind of pick and choose what they like to do. Um, you know, embroidery may not be your thing. You may not like to hand stitch. You may not like to sew. Um, so one of the options always is to use tacky glue. Uh, you can bead with tacky glue too. It's just not going to give you um, a beaded effect. It's just going to be like a flat surface. Um, rather than getting into your third dimension, you just might stay in your second dimension if you decide to use the glue. But with... Um, with this particular project and working with the appliques and working with the burlap this is actually ironed on to the burlap so um it was it was ironed on so it's not glued and um with that you have a little bit of prep that you're gonna have to do which we'll talk about in the next live stream but if anybody is looking to move ahead because they've been following and, you know, they've got a few um, different projects that they're working on, the applique part of it is actually pretty neat because you can put this on a clothing item. So you can use it like a patch. You can put it on your backpack. You can put it on the back of your jean jacket. And um, I know a lot of people right now are... Um, upcycling and repurposing some of their favorite clothes that they have at home like why throw them away if it's something you really like you might just add a patch onto it you can just embroider something you know pretty neat onto it and so, so all of this doesn't necessarily have to be used for art if you don't say want to do cycling is a great way to be creative Here, I put you on mute. <laughs> I put me on mute. And also, as I mentioned, Savannah Fiber Guild, we had a few members that helped us out um, through the course of this live stream because the reason we're live streaming is that uh, the Boys and Girls Club can't have volunteers inside because everyone is still social distancing. 
and the best way to um, help them keep some of the creativity in their activities is to um, have some type of program where they can go back and they can look at it, uh, they can engage, they can show their work. Um, they can ask questions, um, they can develop, certainly they have fun while they're doing it. We're not over them telling them this is how it's supposed to be. Um, they can come up with their own techniques just by going back and looking at some of the things that we've done on the live stream or that we've talked about. Um, creative works is always a little bit different um, because sometimes it's not easy to do some of the things you wanna do in your pieces to make them look a certain way. And embroidery is definitely not easy. What would you say to that, Michelle? Exactly, I'd say absolutely. It doesn't behave always. <laughs> Oh, see, I'm sewing something in here. I'm just working on the speak. <laughs> you kind of froze again. Yeah, because um, embroidery, I been, um, I'd say I've, I've got at least three hours into just this. This is just the outline and a little bit of beads. Mm -hmm. I'm about three hours into that. And I work on it in between each live stream. And that's what um, the kids are doing. And I imagine that if you're following us and wanting to participate, that that's kind of how it is. And, and, and anything that you do um, has a process to it. And I time um, making patterns. And uh, that's one of the other things that we're going to be introducing in, in May is that for the summer, since we're not going to have a program, we're going to have Project Smart Kits. And if you see anything that you like that we've done um, this past this past session, we're going to have the um, kits available. So all you have to do is just contact us. And we'll have a picture, a pattern, and the materials. So we'll put the beads in there. We'll put the um, embroidery needles if you're embroidering. Um, the tools to make jewelry is a little bit different than, say, um, what you're using for Okay. Um, and board count is the size of the beads that you're working with. And... Um, what you're embroidering, I should say. Um, so embroidery is also, so like for example, these cowrie shells, you can embroider them just about any way. There is a small kind of like hole that you could look mm -hmm. for, but um, you're, gonna, you're gonna use a different needle to put those on as opposed to the beads. And I'll give you kind of like a little look at that. A close up. 
-hmm. And again, this is just getting your basic project started. Um, just the outline. What pretty much we're doing is if you were a fine artist and you were drawing and you were sketching out and you were erasing the lines and you were putting in shapes and objects to get your dimension. You do almost the same thing with textile art, but only it's in layers as opposed to you don't have the option to erase something. You have to cut it out. And then the error with cutting it out is, is that you might cut the fabric and then you're out. You know, at least with paper, if you're erasing it or you're, um, you know, redrawing it, that you can fill in with the paper. You're not going to have, um, you know, uh, nicks or you're not going to have materials that are hanging threads if you don't kind of, you know, get the idea or the concept that textile art is, is, is more of a layering process. And then also another quick um, FYI with the burlap is you can actually fringe the ends. So all you're doing is just unweaving the top with burlap because it's already a woven material. So you get automatic fringe and your choice is to hand stitch that so it doesn't, un it doesn't come undone or Again, here's my tacky glue, um, FYI. You can always put tacky glue on the edge and it'll stop the fringe. I was gonna exactly ask that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was, we, we were talking about that when we were making the demos. Um, and a lot of people, they'd get on their sewing machine or they hand stitch any fringe so it doesn't continue to fringe all the way and then the entire fabric unwrapped. Travels. Mm -hmm. But I'm that right now. the FYI is grab some stitch witchery or use the tacky glue, put it on the edges, like right where you want fringe to. <laughs> Gluing <laughs> currently. Yes. Okay. Okay. So do you want to see what it, I can hold it up from one end? I don't know. Can you see the green? Yeah. It's like a lime green in there. Oh, get, get a little closer. It's hard to see. It's a, it's like a really green. I don't want to put the glue on my computer, <laughs> but there's this green in here. So I'm doing the beak and the colors like a fuchsia and green and like a teal blue and yellow. <clears throat> but I may have to stop for a little bit because I just glued the edges. So I could pick up a different project. So this is my turtle that I did before. Now I, I'm doing it all in embroidery thread. I was just showing my, I have to put my other project to 
to the side. Again, I didn't get a chance. Um, do you want me to show you that? The toucan? Let's see it. it. Okay, hold on. Yeah. It's um, it's really gluey on the edges. So hold and on. you're gonna have to. And again, I. You know what? Let me. Let me shut. Let me shut. Everyone. And we had uh, a horrible time with this live stream, and we normally do not. So this was unexpected. Okay. So I'm putting green right here. It's like a lime green. And I'm going to put some over here. But I'm going to paint the white area right here. So I might as well paint it now and let it dry because I have to let the glue dry. And he's missing his feet and his tail feathers, which are going to be embroidered. But I got the other oops, the turtle. Okay. I see the oh. fabric, or are you just going to paint it? Use, are you going to use the designs that's already in the fabric, or are you just going to paint it a solid color? I think I'm going to paint it a solid color. And that actually, that fabric, I turned it upside down because it's supposed to be more of like a white crest there. So um, yeah, that's the back side of the fabric. Um, right. It's more gray. But um, I think I'm going to just paint it white. And there's like some little red that that comes in down here but um but since it's gluey i might as well paint it and let that dry because like you said it's like layering and you know you have to wait for some things to get ready so we have a lot of paint here and i did and I did get a chance to see the turtle. Oh, what the turtle is still, I can, um, so that one I just was embroidering. I think I lost light. Um, so like I was saying to you before, what I was finding when I was embroidering, um, that it was harder, hard for me to go and flip it back and forth to see where I was going to land on the other side of the fabric um, because I'm trying to make my you know, design. So this is like the, this is the actual turtle that I made before. But what I did was I, I sketched it on the back with a Sharpie. And that helped me when I was flipping over to the back side to kind of see where I want to put my needle when I'm going forward so I don't poke lots of extra holes. So it's helping me with making my design. And I only have um, embroidery thread on it right now. But I got excited about doing this on canvas. So, And then last time I did finish my penguin. And that was a combination of the collage and embroidery thread. So I put him together, finish that. And I might put him into a background. I haven't done, decided yet. I found my white. Titanium. Again, to apologize for the, the live stream, I'm going to have to um, post the pictures. Um, and we'll have more step by steps at the Seed to Fiber art room um, because our live stream is going in and out. And we're probably going to, we're probably going to. And in the next 15 minutes, because it's not getting any better. What do you think about that, Michelle? Yeah, probably. I'm gluing myself. Yes, yeah, probably before I glue myself, we can stop. 
I think I am going to put some of the green paint on the white part, though, too. Because around the toucan's eyes, it's got this green, like lime green. I guess you can see what I'm doing here. Camille's not here anymore. Okay, that looks good. Kind of staring with my daughter's ah, acrylic. Fabric painting, we have a demo for. And Michelle, sh yeah, Michelle is showing underneath what she's painting. You can paint directly on the burlap or you can paint on a piece of fabric after you placed it on the burlap. I, I just wanted it because it was white and I uh -huh. felt like I wouldn't get I wouldn't get a very strong white unless it was on top of it. And then I also right. put the put the fabric under the mouth or the beak because I just felt like it could get crazy in there if I didn't have something like stable for all of the um, right. embroidery thread. And when you put the fabric on there, did you did you glue it? I glued it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And but I stitched around it just for prettiness. Right. And like I said, I glued the back side of the, the fabric just because I didn't want it to be very strong in colors. I wanted the white to be really white. Right. And so your your alternative to the glue, again, like I said, is the um, is the applique paper. If you're doing if you're doing applique itself, this is what I did with the rhino that I was working on. A lot like what Michelle did was I um, I fabric collage and I used my fabric collage as a cutout. So this was my template that I used, and I used this template and I used the adhesive paper. This isn't glued on. This is um, applique adhesive paper, and I ironed it on to this piece of burlap right here with fabric. So this is fabric and it's iron on, it's not glued. And so there's nothing that you can see on the back and what I'm gonna be working on for the ne next uh, um, virtual live stream that we do for the endangered species because I picked this rhino right here is I'm going to um, do the same thing that Michelle is doing with the paint, but I'm going to embroider the outline with beads. I think I'm going to embroider it with beads around. Mm -hmm. I thought I might do, I may do a branch on the, the two can of standing on. Yeah. And I might do some, I don't know if I want to do like a starry night type of thing with the beads in the background. That would it be neat. Black, I, I was going to try to, uh, So one of the things we're adding in aspect of habitats. So not everyone is is a fine artist and would be able to draw a land in the background 
your of your applicate. And if you're wondering like what good storage is, I do uh, for fabric collages in each each activity I do, I just get the little Ziploc bags where I can label them. And I keep all of my all of my materials in one bag. So it's really easy to travel with a small bag and have your piece that you're working on. Like so this is really simple to carry along with you. Mm -hmm. If you're um, you know, if you're working, if you're um, creating in your after school program, or if you are um, at home, if you're taking it back and forth from after school to home, or if you're uh, visiting a friend's studio, um, kind of like what we've been doing the last month, or if you're working at home, um, that's an easy way to carry everything around without losing pieces. I kind of wanted to paint it now. <laughs> Painting was fun. It's yeah. going to take a lot to embroider that, but it will be, it'll look good at the end. But the painting is kind of neat. Yeah. Yeah. So how many, how many um, hours do you think I've been, I've, I've done like about three hours and that's just with adding outlines about mm -hmm. how many hours you think you're going to put in. Um, the feet are going to be, crazy i think it's gonna be a while i mean we've been doing this for like an hour and a half and i started a little bit before so probably like maybe two and two more hours or two and a half more hours at least to get it to a spade you know but maybe just the critter <laughs> you know the two right. can because so that's mm -hmm. yeah I, I mean, I'm going to have to wait for things to dry here. So like watching right. paint. Okay. So this, this is, this is important. This is an important step because um, if you're just starting and you're wondering like, why, why are we piecing this out? Like why not just do one entire, you know, segment and then just show it piece by piece because putting in the real time aspect is a lot of times what people don't account for when they're doing um when they're putting a piece together so you don't paint something and then it dries within five minutes and then you start working on the next part of it um to get an idea of like the real time it takes what you have to wait for if you're going to paint something and then you're going to embroider it and then you're going to beat it it's going to take a little bit more time because you have to wait for the paint to dry even if you use glue um, you know, adhesive paper might be a little bit different because you just have a hot iron to deal with and you wait a few seconds until it dries. So you want to take all of those things into account when you're putting your piece together. But, you know, if you use adhesive, you don't use the glue, you might not get the same kind of texture that you're looking for. So that's important too. And that's why we do the live streams, um, you know, in this, in this way, so that people can ask questions, they can get an idea of how long it really takes. And then even to something small that you don't even think about. Um, Michelle, what kind of fabric did you use? Did you use an acrylic or did you use a cotton fabric? It was cotton. You know, polyester. It was, it was, I think it was cotton. It was one of my, just I used one of my patches, um, my, the, the fabric. I think it's cotton. Yeah. Okay, so just if you know, um, cotton takes a little bit longer to dry than polyester for some reason, especially if you use acrylic. And you know, if you use oil paints, oil paints don't ever really dry, you have to use a fixant to the you know, 
Um, and that's one of the things we did with the Frank Callens Boys and Girls Club a couple years ago is they did velvet painting and we use spray paint because that dries a little bit quicker than the oil paints, but they used oil pastels. Mm -hmm. So um, again, to not be overwhelming, but to add in different aspects of how you can make your project look the way that you want it to, but yet still get you know good ideas and try different things each time we live stream that's the point of the live streams okay so um michelle you are gonna let yours dry mm -hmm. and then you're gonna embroider over the paint um i'm gonna embroider over the beak and i'm gonna embroider the tail feathers because they're long and kind of go straight out back here. Um, right. And then I'm going to embroider the feet. I said the feet, the beak, and the tail. Okay. All right. The feet. The tail will be, will be, um, and I could put some black on it and use um, the embroidery to kind of enhance that for the, but the tail feathers are pretty cool. And then the, the feet coming down, those are like these really neat, like, tealy color feet knobby looking and then um, i'm going to do the beak which is you know fuchsia and teal and orange and yellow so um and then i'm gonna put an eye in here on this green okay. spot i'm just kind of bringing some of the green out from the eye okay all right, so um, we're going to cut our live stream down um, about 30 minutes today, although now it looks like we're getting some traction. <laughs> to, right, it's trying to work. The, I, yeah, I know. We're not going down or nothing like this. Oh, yeah. But mm -hmm. we're still going to um, uh, stop at the uh, half hour. And like I said, we will be back on April 13th. And I, that entire week, we are going to be doing, what'd you say? I think it's the 14th. It's that Wednesday. I'm pretty so sure. I, I'm, I'm, I'm skipping days around because we have the entire week. I think it's the 11th 14th. through. Yeah. So it's the 14th. Yeah, is a Wednesday. Wednesday is the 14th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so we're doing activities that entire week. So we're leading into Earth Week. We're going to be doing Earth Week a week before the actual Earth Week. And mm -hmm. um, we're going to be meeting um, with another studio, um, Heart Studio, and we're going to be talking about some of the projects that we've done for Earth Day and how this activity ties into... Um, some of the things that um, we've been uh, learning um, as far as textile art and um, how it's been helpful for the creative process. So um, again, we're going to recap this live stream and we'll probably have um, a little, a few edits because you're not going to be able to see some of the pictures or you're not going to be able to see some of the techniques we used. And then you can always go to the YouTube's um, page which I have in this banner it's the youtube.com channel and um, if you weren't able to see all of how Michelle painted over the fabric there's a quick demo for fabric painting there um, so you can either reference back to this live stream or you can um, check out the demo and then also for the basic stitch for the embroidery and then for the needle and then um, also we're going to have someone um, kind of give us a few tips on how to do some beading techniques when we come back in April also. So again, thank you guys for tuning in today. And if you have any questions, um, please comment or contact me. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next month. Sounds good. Bye. Bye.